Hi everyone. First of all, I'd like to thank the almost 400 people who viewed the first uh, vlog and hopefully you found it uh, useful. This time, the three minutes research vlog is dedicated to the treatment of pain, uh, what to do and perhaps what to uh, try and avoid. So last week, a new study from Stanford University was published in JAMA Surgery um, showing that acupuncture and electrotherapy following total knee replacement surgery uh, reduced both pain and delay the time to using the dangerous opioid drugs. Um, the study was what is called a meta-analysis study, which is a study where you gather um, data from uh, randomized control studies only uh, into one statistical analysis and try to look at the bigger picture, try to see what type of information you can get from that. And so this study actually included 39 studies and over 2,000 patients, in fact 2,391 patients. As you can see on the graph, um, left of the vertical axis, uh, acupuncture conducted on day 2 and then on day 8, post-total knee um, replacement surgery, uh, was beneficial in reducing the actual pain and also in delaying the opioid use. In fact, um, first-line therapies for the treatment of post-operative pain are mainly pharmacological, of course, including anesthetics, um, the opioids, and the acetaminophen uh, group of drugs. Um, however, the opioid addiction um, epidemic has now cost the lives of more than 500,000 people in the U.S. alone. And so this has become a real uh, official national crisis, and both the FDA and the American College of Physicians have called upon doctors who are specializing in treating pain uh, to limit their use and also to inform their patients of other non-pharmacological um, treatment options such as acupuncture and physiotherapy. So what's the take-home message um, from this study? Well, the benefits of acupuncture for reducing and managing pain is well established, um, whether it is back pain or neck and shoulder pain, headaches of course, and um, osteoarthritis of the knee. Um, all of these have been proven in multiple studies and are recommended by several health authorities around the world. A recent study has actually gone a step further um, showing that the benefits of acupuncture treatment are even maintained in the long term. Uh, in fact, the study uh, included 6,376 patients and it showed that almost 90% of the benefit that acupuncture gave the patients when they left the study was uh, sustained over 12 months. So this is real long-term um, benefits. So total knee replacement is one of the most uh, frequently performed surgical procedures worldwide and is associated with significant intense pain, uh, both post-operation and during the recovery period for many of the patients. And knowing that there is a non-pharmacological option uh, for the treatment of these um, pa patients and their pain um, is useful. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the second vlog. Uh, feel free to join my YouTube uh, channel and share it, of course, with colleagues and patients. Feel free to have a look at the uh, references that are included uh, in this presentation. And once again, thanks to my friend Sandro Grassa of the Acupuncture Vlog for helping me make it happen. See you next time. Bye-bye.